Hello everyone, it's Erin, and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, I'll be covering how to transfer remark tokens from State Mine to Moon River, and how to interact with them on Moon River. When you transfer a remark to Moon River, you're actually getting a representation of your remark tokens, which we refer to as XC remarks. XC is prepended to the name to identify these tokens as cross-chain assets, which are also known as XC20s. The beauty of XC20s is that they have an ERC20 interface to maintain Ethereum compatibility, so you can interact with them as you would with any other ERC20. For example, you can add them to MetaMask and create liquidity pools on DEXs. When you transfer a mark, the original remark tokens are stored in an account on StateMine that is owned by Moon River, known as the Sovereign Account. When the remark tokens are received by the Sovereign Account, new XC remark tokens are minted for use on Moon River. At this time, you can only transfer a mark to Moon River. The functionality to transfer XC remarks back to StateMine does not yet exist. For a deeper dive into XCM and XC20s, including an overview of the protocols that enable XCM, how assets are registered, and more, you can check out the Moonbeam documentation site. Links to the doc site are in the description below. Now that you have a base understanding of what XC remarks are, let's go ahead and get started. You will need MetaMask to interact with your Moon River account and the Polkadot.js extension to interact with your StateMine account. All right, so let's dive in. Navigate to apps.moonbeam.network slash moonriver. Take a minute to review the terms and conditions and click accept. Then MetaMask will pop up. And if you haven't already signed in, enter your password and click unlock. Then choose the account you want to connect and transfer XC remarks with. Once you've selected your account, click connect to continue. If you haven't already added Moon River as a network, you will then be prompted to add the Moon River network and connect to it. So go ahead and click Approve, and then Switch Network. Now your MetaMask should be connected to the Moon River network, and the dApp should show you the Moon River page. If you take a look at the Cross-Chain Assets section of the dApp, you'll be able to see all the available XC20s on Moon River, including XC Remark. To get more information about the XC Remark token, you can hover over its name to find out the origin network, name, and decimals for the asset. For XC Remarks, you'll be able to deposit and add the tokens to MetaMask. As previously mentioned, you will not be able to withdraw the XC Remarks from Moon River and transfer them back to Remarks on StateMine, as that functionality isn't available quite yet. First, let's start off by adding the XC Remark token to MetaMask, so go ahead and click Add to MetaMask. MetaMask should automatically pop up and prompt you to add the token. Click Add Token. To make sure that it was successfully added, you can open MetaMask back up and under the Assets tab, you should see the XC Remark token. Now let's go ahead and deposit some XC Remark tokens to Moon River from StateMine. Before getting started, make sure that your StateMine account is connected to the Polkadot.js extension and has some Remark tokens available to transfer. Transaction fees will be paid on the destination chain and deducted from the total amount transferred. So in this case, the fees are paid on Moon River in XC remarks. So go ahead and click on Deposit. Then click Connect to Polkadot.js. The extension will pop up and you can click Yes, allow this application access. Next, you can start to fill out the deposit information. Make sure StateMine is selected as the origin chain. Next, select the StateMine address that you want to send remarks from. Enter the amount of remarks to transfer and verify that the account listed is your Moon River account where you would like to receive the XC Remark tokens. Review the transaction details, and if everything looks all right, go ahead and click Send. The Polkadot.js extension will pop up and ask you to confirm the transaction. Enter your password and click Sign the transaction. Next, you can see that your XC Remark balance has been updated in the dApp, and you've successfully transferred remarks to Moon River. Just keep in mind that the transaction fees have been deducted from the amount transferred, which is why your XC remark balance is lower than the amount you transferred. You can check your remark balance has decreased by using Polkadot.js apps or a block explorer for state mine, such as StateScan. If you want to send XC remarks to another account on Moon River, you can easily do so by opening up MetaMask, clicking on the XC remark token, and then clicking send. Then you would need to enter in the transaction details, such as the recipient and the amount to send. And that's it. Congratulations. You have successfully sent remarks to Moon River in exchange for XC remarks and learned how to transfer the XC remarks to another Moon River account. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.